What's up? I'm Griff. I'm Ryan. We're in Shapes and you're watching Tattoo.com. Hey everybody, it's Mischievous Mel live from Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine, Tattoo.com and the Edge Rock Radio. We are here at day three of Welcome to Rainville, I mean Rockville, with Shapes all the way from the UK. Woo! Hi. Hi. Oh, there we are. Uh, yes, rain. Concert. Didn't happen. Shit. Hi, camera. Hi, microphone. Hi. <laughs> yes. We're sad uh, because we didn't play today, but we're happy that we're here doing these interviews. So, Well, we are glad to have you on this side of the pond. Now, I was um, checking out the video, Afterlife, and I got to ask you, are you guys Jaeger sponsored or Capri Sun, even better sponsored? Capri Sun. Oh, that would be fucking sick. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Yeah. That would. You just call it Capri Sun? Yeah, that's what but I call them. Right. But I always had the problem when I was little, I would little a hundred years ago take the straw and try to get it in there and i'd stab it and then yeah. it would blow open oh, lose the straw, that's the yeah, yeah i was yeah. the dick that swallowed the straw no yeah we um we basically got sponsored to do a video for jaeger and we did two videos and didn't put this like the branding in so we had to do it for the last one i'd already written the whole storyline and shit and got the car in so i was like fuck we need to get jaeger in how can i like write jaeger into this video and i was like what if we steal the Jaeger bottle? That's the reason the cops chasing us. And then we drink the Jaeger, and that's like the superpower that gives me to like knock him out at the end. But basically, yeah, uh, you can't have you can't have someone drink alcohol and then punch someone in the face. Strange. I don't know why. But like advertising. Is that the way it usually works, though? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, that's the truth in advertising, uh, um, right? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you can't do that with like alcohol regulation laws. So we had to blur it out with a fuck off censored thing. But yeah. Oh, censorship. That shit sucks. I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel like in the art world, in the, in the entertainment world, say what you're going to fucking say. Like, you know, show what you're going to show. And truth in advertising, one size does not fit all. Thank you very much, girl at Walmart, for showing me that. And, you know, like I say, you drink some of that shit, you're going to knock somebody out. Should have mixed it with the Capri Sun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, nah, you don't want to taint a Capri Sun like that. <laughs> Oh, Jaeger, no, I love Jaeger. I drink it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner twice. Always drink Jaeger responsibly. There you go. And now that we've said hello to Jaeger, <laughs> how's your guys' tear coming on this side of the pond? I mean, besides the rain out today, anything else going on with you guys interesting on this? Um, I just seen a fucking dolphin. That was cool. Any yeah. gators yet? No, and I've never seen a dolphin before though, so that's pretty amazing. So it's pretty, pretty good experience. Well, I was having a great old time interviewing us, yeah. I hope. And I was like, what? There's a fucking dolphin! Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've just done it again here. So that's yeah, it two or three now. But uh, yeah, no, America's great. What about it? Well, I was just wondering how your trip over here was because I'm always interested. I have not yet got to, I've been to Spain, but that's about as far on the other side of the pond as I've gotten and my goal sometime is to hit one of your guys' music festivals because I know what they're like here and I don't know if you guys got the rumor about Coachella which happened in California but everybody left with herpes so I'm not excited about that so I'm just kind of curious what happens over there <laughs> um, you definitely don't get herpes you kind of just get trench foot it just rains all the fucking time um, yeah, I mean our festivals are cool. Yeah, like the European good. festivals are a lot better. Hellfest is a great festival. It's blistering, it's sunshine. Everything around has like its own pyro rig. So the hot dog stand will be like, yeah, a fucking like a big old yeah. steampunk kind of themed thing yeah. they got going on. So they got they have, like projections going out onto the yeah. floor. So you'll walk around. There's like a gyroscope on the floor. It's trippy and like skulls everywhere. And yeah, it's cool. It's so so when you guys were seeing the rain here, you were all cool with it. But but it was the lightning. To be fair, I mean, to I didn't want anybody to turn into bacon up. Bacon you know, rain bits. here can go fuck itself because we've never had to cancel a set, um, but we had to cancel today, which yeah. sucks. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people that we've had messaging us who've come to see us and stuff, and it's like, in the UK, I wouldn't mind as much because we play the UK all the time, but it's our first time here. We probably won't be back at this festival for at least a year or two years. Well, that's kind of how festivals work. But it just it, it really bums me out to miss today, man. Fucking sucks. That's where I say this. Fuck you, Mother Nature, you're a whore. Because, you know, I mean, why? I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean. <laughs> I, mean I did see a dolphin, so I. Yeah. Dolphin Swings and roundabouts. Yeah. yeah it's kind of. And assholes, yeah. you know how it works, yeah. Well, see, I, I was thinking the same thing because when we were when, before the gates opened, we were huddled underneath a bridge, or as I say, held yeah. captive under the bridge, yeah. and I had to pee so bad, and the lightning was striking, and, I, and there was a light like that, and I'm like, oh shit, we're fucking toast anyway, so yeah. just let me in to pee. I think so there's no a big old like telegraph pole over there, <laughs> and that thing, I swear that got struck it's outside our dressing room. I 
See, I've never seen a lightning bolt that up close. It yeah. was like, fuck, I felt it in my colon. Like, it fucking... Also, like, you could, you know when you, you meant to, like, count the seconds between the light and the bang, and that's how far it away? Like... It was just instantaneous, the bang. We were like, shit, that's, that's next door. It just lit up. So we were all sat there exactly the same. Like, I need to pee, but I don't want to die. Pop so to impress us. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, what's funny about you mentioning about counting the storm is I learned that from the movie Poltergeist. Really? Yeah, okay. like the little click kid waiting for it when the clown came out at him and the tree tried to eat him. Right. I just remember him counting in between the thunder and lightning and I'm like, oh shit. So yeah, that I guess ages me. So now that we've talked about peeing, Jaeger, Capri Sun. My yeah. Right? Yeah. No, I don't have anything to elaborate on that. I was just adding what we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Is there any um, new music or albums coming out that you can tell us about? What's so in the future? I mean, we dropped an album like six months ago, so we're it's not like desperate to put anything out, but we are writing bits and bobs at the oh. moment and stuff. We're always kind of writing and chipping away, but mainly at the moment we're pushing like the album that we've just written. So yeah. Very cool. I was just curious because, you know, I'm nosy like that and we want to let everybody know what's going on with Shapes. And now that we've talked everything except for ink, and now we are on to the ink session. So who wants to go first? I mean, over the years, I've picked up an array of bits and bobs. You're probably better talking to him. <laughs> right. Yeah. But is there a reason you don't have it? Uh, just because it's turned into a bit of a uniform for this industry at the moment. And I kind of just, I'm not in any rush to get covered in tattoos. I don't know. I quite like having, I quite like my skin. It looks all right. I've got a couple of bits and bobs. Got the back of my neck done. There's some shit down here and that. But I'm getting tangled up here. But um, yeah, it means uh, celery. But... <laughs> Yeah, I just really like celery, so I thought I'd get that. <laughs> and what about you, sir? Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got a few. Um, i got this one on my elbow, which is, um, it's, well, yeah, it's our first album. It's a, it's a compass instead of north, east, southwest. Uh, it's P-J-E-D, Pain Directly Despair, which is the title of our first album. Uh, this was uh, a title I got at Downloads uh, 2013, just to commemorate the first time I played it. And then... Because they were doing tattoos in the artist area, so and I was like, free, fuck I'm not. 18, <laughs> I'm gonna get a free tattoo." So uh, yeah, and yeah, these these are both done by uh, Rock and Roll Tattoo in Glasgow. It's my favourite one because it's got a little antler. Yeah. Nice little wing, little antler. Yeah, yeah never. I like yeah. the colours. I, I love that. Yeah, the colours and, and and this one as well. And then this is. Uh, I'm from a like a Scottish family originally and this is our Scottish family crest and these two blue Scottish roses for my two Sorry, sisters. I don't mean to be poking at you, yeah. but you know. There you go. That's and cool. I think that's I think that's it. And then I got the two on my leg, which were the the bottom one's like a joke one. So me and my friend used to pretend to be an Australian rap duo called Mikey and Nige and so we got these uh, for a laugh. And then yeah, this false teeth one. If I can get my jeans up. We have a song called False Teeth. And basically the story with that one goes is we played an opening for a uh, tattoo shop in Poland. And I wanted, you know, there's like vampire teeth you get at uh, Halloween and like the little ones. That's what I wanted. But uh, yeah, the lady kind of wanted to go to town. It's like, it's not really my style. And I was like, you doing it entire fucking leg. Yeah. And I was like, can I see your portfolio first before I give you my leg? She was like, oh, you have to check online. So I checked it out. I was like, I'm good, thanks. And then Ryan went ahead and got it done. <laughs> yeah, well, originally this had like rainbow teeth, like uh, uh, six nine or whatever. Different to the yeah. original tattoo, yeah. but and also it's way bigger. But I kind of went with it. Bigger as well. She yeah. wanted all the teeth multicolored. It yeah. would have looked like fucking six nine on your leg. So that's the story behind that one. But I like it because it's got a story. And at the end of the day, it's only my leg. You know what I, mean? I mean, we've got a bet going where if we get a top forty single in uh, the UK, he's got to get his postcode tattooed across here, so like, I suppose you call it a zip code. Yeah, yeah. yeah LE10, LE10, just big old fucking letters. Yeah. That's my main motivation for success with yeah. this band, is to get see that tattoo happen. Yeah. <laughs> sort of thing my mum says, you know, you don't have to get one for a lot, like, just for a joke, I was like, I've, I've, made, a, I've made a bet, yeah. if I don't stick to it, what I'm kind of man am I, yeah. It's a deal now, right, yeah. you know, it's I like... I my word, I have nothing. Drink. Yeah. I was just going to say, it's, yeah. the, it's the whole yeah. blood brother thing. Yeah. There we go. Well, fantastic, guys. Well, thank you for crossing the pond to almost play uh, Rainville, I mean yeah. Rockville. We made it here. Yeah. You did. And stay tuned because Shapes has some stuff out that you can check out at the Edge Rock Radio, Tattoo.com, Rockwell Unseen, and all things Shapes. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.